Hi there, this is Aaron Sachs, National Training Manager for Samsung TechWin America. Today I'm going to show you how to set up one of the analytics in our cameras. The entering and exiting, uh, we're going to go into the setup menu. We're going to go to the event menu, event setup, and we're going to select motion detection video an analysis, and video analytics, and we're going to check the box for enable to enable that function. Uh, if we wanted to record to the SD card when it detects the, the uh, analytics, we can check the record box. We come on down, make sure the mode is set to either video analytics or motion detection and video analytics at the same time. Um, we can set up a sensitivity for how sensitive it should be. Uh, we can have a size, a minimum and a maximum size. So uh, if I don't want it detecting people but I want it detecting cars, uh, or I want it to detect cars and not trucks, for example, we can specify all of that. We could also have an area of where to detect and where not to detect um, motion or analytics on the screen. And then we can choose our analytics. The cameras can do a variety of analytics at the same time. Uh, we're just going to do the entering and exiting. Um, and we can draw a box on the screen. I'm just going to draw a box here to say if someone enters that box, uh, drives through it um, to trip that, normally you'd have um, you know, a doorway that would be uh, covered up here to say when someone goes into or leaves that doorway. Uh, we also have analytic rule overlay where if I want this green box to be shown on the video window and detection result overlay, do I want um, notification that the analytic was tripped to show. Uh, we also have a schedule. We can tell it to only operate on certain days of the week or certain hours of the day. Uh, we can do hourly or we can click on specific boxes and tell it uh, individual time periods uh, within there. I'm going to do always. And when you're all done, you have to hit the apply button, otherwise nothing is saved on the screen here. Uh, then we can go back to the monitoring page and view it and we should see um, that as it finds something, uh, it'll put a green box around it, and then when it trips the analytic, a red the the box should turn to a red red box or frame around the item. And there you can see a car drove through or entered that restricted zone. 